Hi Taurus, this is your May mid-month terror reading. We'll have three separate spreads in this mid-month reading. The first spread is going to be on love. It could be new love, existing love, love from the past, whatever comes up. In the second spread, we'll be looking at some good news for you, Taurus, for uh, the second half of May. And uh, spread number three will be an advice for you, Taurus, for the remainder of this month. Please like, comment, and uh, subscribe to support this channel. So this first spread is on love tours. We have uh, the Ace of Cups, clarified by the Three of Cups. Uh, we have the Emperor. We also have the Nine of Cups, clarified by Strength. In the potential outcome, we have uh, the Star with the Ace of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. And we have Justice on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Aquarius, Libra, or absolutely any zodiac sign. This is a general reading. It's also a very specific reading, Taurus. I gotta be honest with you, for some of you, it's not new love, right? For some of you, just for some of you, if you are already in a relationship with somebody, right? You guys are gonna be taking it to the next level in the second half of May. Whatever that level is for you, most likely marriage at some point down the road. <laughs> So it could be like a major spoiler, right? If it's a brand new person entering your life, it is going to take a nanosecond before you guys find yourselves in a commitment with this person, right? Yeah, that's what's happening. That's why I'm saying for some of you it's not a new person, right? Uh, you're dealing with the Emperor, the third card from the left. The Emperor could be an Aries you're dealing with. The Emperor could be somebody who is um, an, either an existing but most likely a future Spouse, future significant other, finger, future husband, future wife. All right. The emperor is not somebody who is fooling around. The emperor definitely knows what he or she wants. The emperor is somebody who is large and in charge and control. But in this case, it's in a good way. They know what they want. That's what they're in control of. All right. To the left from the emperor, we have the Ace of Cups, clarified by the Three of Cups. The Ace of Cups is love. Right? The Ace of Cups is love. <laughs> we don't have any pages on the table. There is nothing wrong with pages, but uh, with the Ace of Cups, people usually know when they're in love with somebody. Because it's a true, genuine, authentic love, Ace. It's clarified by the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups is a card of a celebration. Those of you still celebrating your birthday <laughs> in the second half of May, then first of all, happy birthday. Second of all, perhaps they've prepared this for your birthday. All right, they may. It's going to be like a very romantic gesture for your birthday. Um, they may tell you they love you for the first time if it's a newish, newer, or new person. Right? Uh, maybe they've prepared something else besides your birthday because the Three of Cups is definitely some kind of a celebration. Right? Uh, and uh, you know, for most of you, it's your birthday. For others of you, it's like I said, they've. It's going to be like a very romantic evening, very romantic dinner or what have you. To the right from the Emperor we have the Nine of Cups clarified by strength. The Nine of Cups is also a card of an event. All right? But at the same time it's a, it's a card of um, a wish come true, wish granted. It's a card of a personal satisfaction and fulfillment and uh, I'm going to jump ahead a little bit. We have two um, wish come true, wish granted cards in the tarot deck and both of them are on the table. The Nine of Cups is the first one and the first card in the potential outcome, the star, is the second one. <laughs> um, right? So the Nine of Cups is qualified by Strength, could be a Leo. Your general Strength is a Leo major kind of card. But Strength could be interpreted as um, a card of passion, pure raw passion, right? And my favorite interpretation of the Strength card is loyalty. Loyalty, Taurus. All right, justice on the bottom of the deck. It could be a Libra you're dealing with. Justice could be an actual place where people get married, like a chapel. With justice card, you could also be getting what you what you deserve. Right? If you deserve the emperor, <laughs> then the emperor you shall receive, Taurus. All right. And uh, yeah, besides the star in the potential outcome, we have the Ace of Swords and uh, the Ten of Pentacles. As I already mentioned, the star is also a wish come true card. Um, yeah, it could be an Aquarius, by the way, you're dealing with. The Ace of Swords in the middle of the second ace often, very often, comes through as the word yes. So if it is a marriage proposal, the answer will most likely be yes, coming from you. It doesn't have to be, right? Free will is always at play, but I'm just telling you what the Ace of Swords could be, right? It's also a card of, um, you know, a new beginning, but since in the potential outcome, it's a new beginning on the next level up, 
Alright, it's a card of clarity, so you'll be crystal clear about what's going on. The Ten of Pentacles right next to the deck is actually what's going on here, right? Besides the besides it being a wish come true. The Ten of Pentacles is a card of financial abundance, it's a card of real estate, and most importantly, it's a card of a rock solid commitment to marriage, Taurus. That's what that Ten of Pentacles says, or all of the above. You know, yeah, if you're already dealing with somebody, you guys are taking it to the next level. If uh, it's a new person, you will very quickly know what they want. And I think you're going to be really happy about this. What they want is a commitment with you. All right, Taurus, really happy for you. Congratulations. Here's some good news for you, Taurus, uh, for the second half of May. We have the Eight of Cups, clarified by the Six of Swords. We have uh, the Two of Cups, clarified by Temperance. We have the Queen of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. On the bottom of the deck, you could be dealing with um, a Sagittarius. Um, yeah, I assume you're the Queen of Pentacles here, uh, Taurus. I think it's a safe assumption. <laughs> so what's the good news is somebody is coming back and they want to bury the hatchet with you. Okay, and uh, it could also be like a business partner who is coming back or wor a person you used to work with or a company you used to work with. Somebody is definitely coming back from the past and they want to heal this with you, right? So it's like a, an olive branch gesture. It could be a love partner coming back from the past, but it feels more like either friend, a friend, or maybe a family member you had a fallout with, or somebody coming back, like work, business, and finances related, right? But this is definitely somebody, somebody coming back. The Six of Cups on the bottom of the deck is a card of a soulmate connection, but it's a card of somebody coming back from the past. The Eight of Cups, clarified by the Six of Swords, the first two cards, they even kind of look alike, right? We're looking at people's backs. Perhaps this is somebody who went their separate way in the past and now they're back, but uh, whenever those two cards show up in the very beginning, I usually interpret them as reversals, even though I don't do reversals in my readings, but the, if those cards show up in the beginning, yeah, somebody who left, <laughs> they're coming back. Okay, the Two of Cups clarified by Temperance in the middle. Temperance could be a Sagittarius you're dealing with, but Temperance is a card of balance, it's a card of patience, it's a card of healing, bearing the hatchet, reconciling, uh, you know, that type of energy. The Two of Cups in the middle is another soulmate card, but it's also a card of like shaking hands. When it comes to work, business, and finances, I always interpret the Two of Cups as a handshake card. Alright, so somebody wants to come back and shake hands, make peace, make good with you, reestablish this connection, whatever this con whatever the nature of this connection was. It's gonna be up to you whether you wanna accept this person back into your life, but this looks good. I don't see you like not <laughs> accepting this person back into your life. So most likely it's um, it's a peace between you, a peace agreement between you and this person. Alright? Cool. Here's an advice for you, Taurus, uh, for the remainder of this month. We have the Five of Swords, clarified by the Five of Cups. We have the World. Uh, we also have um, the Two of Swords, clarified by the Six of Pentacles. And we have the Star on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Aquarius or absolutely any Zodiac sign. You know what? I was looking at all these cards and I immediately, almost immediately, remembered this expression. I did not come up with this expression. Somebody else did before me, way before me. <laughs> And the expression goes like this, make love, not war, <laughs> all right? This spread right here is talking about peace, right? Maybe this spread has something to do with the previous spread, the good news spread, right? In the good news spread, we definitely saw somebody coming back to you, offering, offering you an olive branch, right? This spread right here is all about making peace or maybe preventing war, not literally. Right, because we do have the Five of Swords clarified by the Five of Cups. The Five of Swords is a card of a, like an ugly fight or an ugly breakup. Right, it's a card of uh, when people slam the door on the way out, go their separate ways, break up, and things like that. The Five of Cups clarifying it is a card of grief and regret. Right, then we have the World. The World is a card of an ending, but I always interpret it as a card of a happy end. So this is the Five of Swords is coming to an end, or it's an advice for you to prevent this. Or if somebody comes back to you, offering you a reconciliation, offering you a peace agreement, say yes. Okay. And the star on the bottom of the deck could be an Aquarius, you know. But one way to interpret the star is uh, healing, just like Temperance in the previous card, in the previous spread, right? The star could be a card of healing. 
It's a card of a wish come true. It's a good energy. And at the end, we have the Two of Swords, clarified by the Six of Pentacles. Um, the Two of Swords, you know, could be interpreted many, many different ways. One of the ways to interpret the Two of Swords, the often forgotten way to interpret this card, is a ceasefire. Ceasefire or armistice. So let's sit down, let's have a conversation, and maybe we can work out a peace agreement. <laughs> or maybe this is a way of the universe to say, don't get into like major fights. The Six of Pentacles clarifying it is a card of balance. Right? Balance and equal give and take. Okay, so for most, it will resonate different ways for all of you, Taurus. You'll probably know what I'm talking about. Or if there is like a a choice at some point in the, in the second half of May to either fight or try to make some sort of a peace agreement. I think the uh, the advice for you is to try to make peace. Or if somebody comes back to you offering you a peace agreement, I think it's a good idea to at least consider, um, you know, reconciling with this individual. Taurus, I hope this makes sense, but uh, that's what I have for you for this reading for the second half of May. Happy birthday to those of you one more time celebrating. Yeah, if this video resonates with you, please like it and uh, subscribe. And uh, other than that, Taurus, have an amazing the rest of the month.